all right guys in this video i'm going to show you how you can generate pdf files using puppeter so for this example we will be opening a new browser and we will create a new page using browser.newpageapi and we will navigate to stack overflow question stack puppeter so this is the target page that we will be using to print the pdf files and to print the pdf files we can simply say await page dot pdf and in this we need to pass the option we need to specify the path for the path we are going to say puppeteer stack overflow dot pdf we can save it and open the terminal to test our script we will type node index dot js and as you can see it is running behind the scenes because we are using the headless browser to generate the pdf so let's open the explorer and in the explorer we can see it created the file so let's reveal this in finder and open this as you can see on the screen uh, puppeter managed to create the pdf for the contents that were displayed on the stack overflow website you can even further customize the pdf by passing certain options so very first option that we are going to use is the format so for the format we are going to say we need a a4 size pdf and we also want to specify header and footer and to specify the header and footer we would require some margins on top and the bottom so we will say margin and in margin it takes an object of top uh, we will say 100 pixel and in on the bottom we are again going to have a margin of 100 pixels and to display the header footer we need to set the flag and the flag is display header footer and we will set this to true and this requires the template that we need to provide to display so we will say header template and in this header template should be a valid html markup so we will create a valid html markup here so we will say p uh, in the paragraph we are going to use a span and this span can have a class name of page number so when puppeter find this class it will automatically replace this with the page number and next we are going to say of another span with class of total pages so when uh, this puppeter encounter this span tag it will replace it with total pages so it will look like something like one of five something like this uh, when the pdf is printed so to display this text we are going to style the paragraph element so we will say style equal to font size of 10 pixels and to display everything in center of the uh, header area we will say margin zero auto which means that we don't want a top and bottom margin however from left and right we want to uh, center the text so we had a typo here we will just correct this this should be margin not margin so let's give it a try type node index .js and this will run the puppeter on the background and the pdf is generated let's open the pdf and if we see now uh, on the top you can see page one of four and on the footer it is by default displaying the url of the current page and on the next page we can see page two of four and that is how guys you can use puppeter to generate the pdf by passing the custom options if you want to look at the other custom options that are available you can look at the puppeter api i will put this link in the descriptions where you can find further options to scale the pdf or to print the background to print the pdf in landscape mode or you can further format the pdf based on your requirements if you enjoyed this video please smash that like button make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notifications to get the latest updates whenever I post a new video. See you in next one.